Thank you, Holy Spirit. Dealing with the spirit of rebellion. One of the things that finishes people, especially in the church, is rebellion. And one of the sponsor of rebellion, resentment, bitterness, oaths, is when people feel let out of a success story. They ask you to clean the chairs and you feel so big to clean the chairs and suddenly they appoint someone else to do that work. You become resentful. Do you understand that? You become so hungry because you feel someone is doing what you were supposed to do. I'm telling you the roots of rebellion and how much it can finish, finish a person in the church. Where you get to a point, you begin to oppose the things you once preached about. The evangelism you talked about, you will sit down with a church member and tell the person of the reason why there is no, this evangelism is a useless thing. The worship session you once talked about, you will sit down and tell them why worship is so useless. That's not the heartbeat of God, it's not worship. Because you are resented. What I'm saying is not happening. Is it not happening? In church. You hear Christian brothers and sisters discuss certain things about the church. You are confused whether this one is truly born again. The problem is because the spirit of rebellion has been soaked into that person. And one thing about the spirit of rebellion, once it begins to come upon you, it attracts its kind. You know that um, Ahitobel was the grandfather of, um, of um, what do you call her? Beersheba. And because of what David did to Beersheba, Ahitobel, which was David's most powerful right hand man, was Peter. But couldn't do anything so he found an opportunity when he also found another bitter person towards david who was that absalom and he became absalom giving absalom strange how will you be so bitter with your friend to advise the son to sleep with his father's wife in the open square for everyone to see all the father's wife i'm telling you what bitterness can push a person to do the problem of bitterness and this and rebellion is that when it begins to act, it doesn't think again. All it wants to see is to bring down everything in front of it. And God said to me, he said, deal with this. This is why many people are in church but don't profit from it. This is why many people come to serve day in, day out, week in, week out, but don't profit from it. Because their heart is not right. Their heart. Proverbs 4 and verse 23. He said, guard your heart with all diligence for out of it flows the issues of life. How do you know that rebellion is in place? Holy Holy The Bible says that Alexander the copper smith did me this was poor. Alexander the copper smith worked so closely with Paul but got to a point he became so full of himself should i shock you should i shock you do you know this man called alexander the copper smith is the son of joseph of cyrene who carried the cross for jesus so he felt paul where were you when my father was doing that what do you want to tell me about christianity when you get to a point where you begin to correct spiritual authority you are in rebellion when you get to a point where you are too big to be wrong, you are in rebellion. When you begin to feel there is something the leader should have done right. You feel you, the leader is hearing God so clearly like you. you are, at that point in time, your spiritual stethoscope and telescope is in, in a very high level. You are about to be destroyed. He said, and God reward him according to his works. He said, of whom be thou aware also, for he had greatly withstood our words. He goes against everything they say. That's a rebellion spirit. And that's one of the things that the church must begin to attack in the days. We are the spirit of rebellion. Taking the hold of the hearts of men. Number one, our proof in church after the pastor have preached they will send a little note to a lady and tell her I had a vision about you let me see you and dupe them of their hard headings who want to be a leader in the midst of their leader when Jesus came to the scene Judah, John the Baptist said that I may decrease and he increased even when his guys came to tell him don't you see this man is taking your shine he said is this time 
my joy is that I may decrease and that he may increase. Prophetic rebels. They give you prophetic word of how the spirit of God has left the church. And how stupid they could be is that you see people go to their leaders for prayers. The same people that God has left. Prophetic rebels. We have financial rebels. Their job is to look for lapses in the ministry and use that as an arrow to finish a church, finish a man. Financial rebels. I'm telling you the level of demonism happening in the church. And why you see that certain people are in the church and they begin to battle with issues. Things about their life doesn't go well or go straight. Because they didn't even know the reason why they came in the first place. They look for a brother, they buy him a shoe. And you can say that, look at the kind of shoe Papa is wearing. He doesn't even care whether you have shoe. Forgetting that everyone is a team player in this work, in this assignment in the kingdom. It has nothing to do with the pastor. He said, he that has one coat, give two coats, give one to another. We have emotional rebels. You will never see them in evangelism. But they have the anointing to call everybody in church, visit everybody that they just want to check on them because the church don't care. Emotional manipulators and rebels. So they make sure you get so to a point you are now their best friend. Then they manipulate you away from God. When they call, let's all go out to check on people, you will never see them. Move. It's the one they like to do what? Personally. Then you will never see them. Are we together? Rebels. 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 We have physical rebels. You say, let's leave our voice now. Pray the Holy Ghost. Pray with fire. That's the time you're singing, holy. You are a rebel. You are a Confucianist. They know how every service should be organized. I, I, I think it would have been better that the prayer should come before the prayer. I think it would have been better that the announcement come after preaching. They know how everything should be organized. And I told you the two reasons. When one, people are so full of themselves. Two, people have absolutely lost God. God consciousness. They don't even know that anything I'm doing here is for the sake of God. And number three, when they feel left out of a success story. They don't care. They want everything to go they want everything to go down. That's why one of the things every genuine pastor, every genuine leader must pray for is not just to be a gifted man but to have the gift of men. Men who didn't come to look at your faults but to hold your hands and draw from the grace in your life. They didn't come to look at your mistakes. They are not critical about your person. But they come to lift you up, to stand by you and be a blessing to your life. But one of the things you must do away with is the spirit of what? Rebellion. You don't rebel in streets. You don't rebel directions. You don't. And when you have a problem, you are the first to query God and shout, Oh Lord, where are you? Do you think this kingdom thing is a play? You just do the way you like and the result must be the way you want it. You think that's how it works? You are bound by an allegiance to the king. There are consecrations that services certain graces. When you see graces that are working, there are consecrations that services it. They are not cheap. If you are in any political group, break away from it. Did you come to church because of the person? Why should they recruit you into the army? Break away from it. Rebellious people will always look for people that are weak. In their weak moment to buy them into their company buy them into their opinion buy them into their ideology be a contributor everywhere you find yourself pray every day and say lord bless me to be a giver bless me bless me i pray for you may your name be mentioned in places of greatness Amen. may you not meet in life those you are supposed to miss Amen. I may you not mix in life those you are supposed to meet. Amen. You will understand this prayer someday. I pray for you. May you not meet in life those you are supposed to miss. Amen.
And may you not miss in life those you are supposed to meet. In the name of Jesus. May the oil of acceptance come upon your life. Everywhere you go, you will be accepted. All over the places of the world, you will be accepted. Why people will be compelled to give to you is when the oil of acceptance is on your life. That's why when the devil wants to destroy the life of a young man or a young woman, he puts what we call the spirit of what? Rejection. That alone is okay for him. Everywhere you go, people just hate you. People just don't want to... When the oil of acceptance come, they will see your flaws and ignore it and make excuses for it just to bless you. I pray for you. I you don't know what is coming on you from this meeting may the lord release on your life the oil of acceptance in the name of jesus some of you watch what will happen from today it's not because helpers are not seeing you but they are not seeing the acceptance i pray again for you may the oil of acceptance from today rest upon your life in the name of Jesus I see many of you receiving strange favors that thing that is bothering you God take care of it between now as surely as God lives some of you as you get back home what will be waiting for you are testimonies I said what will be waiting for you are testimonies in the name of Jesus whatever you have said to God's hearing this evening whatever you have said to him I prophesy under God may he grant all your heart's desires I call it done I call it done I call it done in the name of Jesus I prophesy under God. I declare, I declare, good news. Good news. Good news. Favor. 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 Miracle alert. Money alert. Money alert. In the name of Jesus. Everything you have lost, lost opportunities, lost relationship, lost moment, lost years. I prophesy, shall be restored. They shall be restored. They shall be restored. Any strong man tormenting your life. Any strong man. Can I? Can you permit me to take off some people? Within 72 hours, they are dead. Yeah. Anyone disturbing your family, anyone that has said over their dead body, will they see their family, this family rise? I prophesy under God. Since they say they will not give you peace, they are rest in peace. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Everyone holding bound the destinies of men, holding bound marriages, holding bound opportunities about prosperity all in words i decree they are led to rest 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 in the name of jesus those who have said can anything good come in your life may god give them a shock of their lives May God give them a shocker of their lives. May God give them a shocker of your lives. In the name of Jesus.